Welcome to another video from ultimatealgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at finding angles. It's important you've watched the previous video on introduction to angles. Before we look at our questions, we want to say thank you to all the members who are sponsoring this channel. We really appreciate your contribution in helping us make these videos and helping more students. If you're not a member yet, please consider supporting this channel by clicking the join button or link in pinned comment. Thank you. Okay, let's look at our questions. Question 1. What is the relationship between angle A and angle B? To answer this question, you need to know about angle relationships. So, before we answer this question, let's learn a few things on angle relationships. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common side and a common vertex. These two angles, that's angle A and angle B are adjacent. Notice that they have the same vertex, which is basically the corner point. Also, they share this side. So, adjacent angles are like one angle that has been divided into two by this green line. Complementary angles are angles that add up to 90 degrees. Let's say you have this 90 degrees angle. We know it's 90 degrees because of this mark here. And you divide it into two with this line. The angles formed, angle A and angle B, will be complementary. So let's say angle A is 30, then angle B will be 60. 30 plus 60 equals 90, so the angles are complementary. The complementary angle A and B in this example is also adjacent. They share a common side and a common vertex. Angles, however, don't always have to be adjacent in order to be complementary. Example. This is also complementary. The only condition is that those two angles add up to 90 degrees. Linear pair or supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. Here, we know that a straight angle is 180 degrees. So if we divide this into angle A and angle B, then angle A plus angle B will be equal to 180 degrees. So angle A and angle B are supplementary. Let's say angle A is 60 degrees then angle B will be 120 degrees. 60 plus 120 equals 180. Again, we used an example where the two angles are adjacent. They don't always have to be adjacent to be supplementary. Vertical angles are angles opposite each other when two lines cross each other. Vertical angles are equal. This is also a very important statement. So here, angle A and angle B are equal. Angle C and angle D are also equal. So back to our question. This should be easy now. We can see that the angle A and angle B are vertical angles. Question 2. What is the relationship between angle A and angle B? We are using the relationships we learned in question 1. First, we can see that angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. They share a common side and also have a common vertex. These angles, angle A and angle B, are also complementary angles. That means they add up to 90 degrees. There are a few things we have to recall from our intro video on types of angles. The first is to notice this mark here. This means this angle is 90 degrees. Also, we learned that the angles on a straight line is 180 degrees, meaning angle A plus angle B, plus this 90 degrees, must be equal to 180 degrees. We can subtract 90 from both sides. The 90 will cancel out. 180 minus 90 is 90. This will give us angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees. Since angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees, the two angles are complementary. Please, I'm doing all this work for teaching purpose. You do not need this to answer this question. You should be able to identify it easily without going through the steps we just used. You definitely don't need to do any calculations here. Question 3. Find X in the diagram below. The work here is being able to identify that this is angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line adds up to 180 degrees. Once you know that, you will just add everything and equate it to 180, then solve the resulting equation. So here, we will add 75 plus, 
x plus 20 plus 25 equals 180. We can add the numbers 75 plus 20 plus 25 to get 120. So we have x plus 120 equals 180. We can subtract 120 from both sides. The 120 will cancel out. 180 minus 120 is 60. So x is 60. Question 4. Find x in the diagram below. The work here is being able to identify that we are dealing with a full angle. A full angle is 360 degrees. Once you know that, you'll just add everything and equate it to 360. Then solve the resulting equation. So here, we will add 230 plus x plus 85 equals 360. We can add 230 plus 85 to get 315. So we have x plus 315 equals 360. We can subtract 315 from both sides. The 315 will cancel out. 360 minus 315 is 45. So x is 45. Question 5. An angle is 2 times its supplement. What is the angle? This question is really just testing if you know what supplementary angles are. We learned from our previous video that supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. So if angle A is, let's say 150 degrees, then angle B must be 30 degrees. 150 plus 30 equals 180. So for this question, if we say the supplement is X, then the angle will be 2x because it is 2 times the supplementary angle. We say that they must add to get 180 degrees. So we have 2x plus x equals 180. We add the x plus 2x to get 3x equals 180. We can now divide both sides by 3. The 3 will cancel out. 180 divided by 3 is 60. So x equals 60. We have to be careful to note what the question is asking. What we just found is x, and we know that x is the supplement. The angle is 2 times the supplement, so we have 2 times 60. The angle is therefore 120. We'll end this video here. Please check out our other videos and links to get more help. Have a great day. Goodbye.